Welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you some fractal templating. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get started. So uh, this is the actual fractal template that I'm going to be using. Um, it's purple. Yep, 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 yep. And I'm going to be using a very simple repeating pattern, which is the fractal geometry part, which allows it to tile. <clears throat> So you can use any you wanted, I just use whatever I had on me at the time. And like I say, what you do is you build your own template set, tile set, and you use it for different situations. I'm just building a flat one because I was trying to demonstrate this on the live stream. Um, I think it's the EVE Online music that's playing through the uh, CCP Games SoundCloud. I was actually building that uh, Maha Harbinger in the back. You see it every now and then. That's a new project, the Golden Harby. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just sort of making the uh, tile a little bit more complicated with some more color and depth. I had a bit of a problem with it in the end, but it will get to that and you'll get to see what I actually came up with. You hear me getting all exacerbated. <laughs> Here we go. Hmm. Tom, why you know you symmetry? Although this does look good. I think the white's a little bit overbearing, so I need to come up with another fractal pattern to tone down the red. And this was my way of getting to tone down the red. If I use uh, purple lights on yellow, then it will give me a real hot color as we showed with the swatch and so that's what I'm gonna do make a little recess put some purple lights in and boom you got this hot orange neon backing with a purple frame and then we put some uh, grills around that oh in other news I've actually I've done it or something I've done the thing so yeah that was fun um, so now I've just got to figure out how big it is and copy it and it's a done deal, guys. Mm. So basically, I ended up applying a few spiky bits. And the spiky bits were strong. And I used them to basically copy and duplicate. Oh. I think that was it. One more. There it is. Copy. Save. Fractal wall one. And remove. So, we begin. I basically slapped a simple frame down and started building the wall like I normally would with hull only this time using the fractal template. There'll be more coming up in part two, so watch me mess about with this first abomination of fractal templating. The Useless Junk International presents Fractal Pattern Useless Ships. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. World. But, you know, that's easy. I could just shift the, uh, shift the old ship core over one bit. You got a little fighter... A fighter thing. <laughs> a fighter der. A fighter der. Alright, well, basically, guys, it's time for an intermission. So cheers for uh, joining us on part one. Back for part two in a minute. I'm just going to go for a quick break. So I'll be back in about five, ten minutes. See you soon.